Lily Potter's letter to Sirius Black is one of significant interest as it highlights several key points for certain characters' situations at the time. And when analysing the letter, it allows us to see what these points of interest are. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. So I'll start by reading the letter first in full and then I'll analyse it afterward. As for those of you who haven't read the book, you may not know about the letter. So it reads as follows. Dear Padfoot, thank you. Thank you for Harry's birthday present. It was his favourite by far. One year old and already zooming along on a toy broomstick. He looked so pleased with himself. I'm enclosing a picture so you can see. You know it only rises about two feet off the ground. But he nearly killed the cat and he smashed a horrible vase Petunia sent me for Christmas. No complaints there. Of course, James thought it was funny. Says he's going to be a great Quidditch player. But we've had to pack away all the ornaments and make sure we don't take our eyes off him when he gets going. We had a very quiet birthday tea, just us and all Bethilda, who has always been sweet to us and who dotes on Harry. We were so sorry you couldn't come, but the orders got to come first and Harry's not old enough to know it's his birthday anyway. James is getting a bit frustrated, shut up here. He tries not to show it, but I can tell. Also, Dumbledore still got his invisibility cloak, so no chance of little excursions. If he could visit, it would cheer him up so much. Wormy was here last weekend. I thought he seemed down, but that was probably the news about the McKinnons. I cried all evening when I heard. Bethilda drops in most days. She's a fascinating old thing, with the most amazing stories about Dumbledore. I'm not sure he'd be pleased if he knew. I don't know how much to believe, actually, because it seems incredible that Dumbledore could ever have been friends with Gellert Grindelwald. I think her mind's going, personally. Lots of love, Lily. So, the date of the letter is early August, just after Harry's birthday. The exact date isn't known, but it's just about two months before the Potter's deaths in October. Now, obviously, the letter is during the time of the Potter's being in hiding, as Lily talks about Harry enjoying his toy broomstick. Now, the first thing that stands out for me is the mention of the vase from Petunia. Albeit an awful looking item, it was still a Christmas gift from her and her family. Despite the recent tension between them, in addition to Petunia's jealousy over the years, she still sent Lily a gift, and I find that very interesting. And to me, it's just a sign of Petunia trying to be the bigger person, something that she can gloat about. She also mentions Batilda Bagshot's frequent visits to the house, which appears to be enjoyable for Lily, as being in hiding is difficult with so little people to talk to. Also, the fact Sirius couldn't be there due to working for the Order can mean one of two things. He's far away on business, or Lily and James cannot contribute to their Order of the Phoenix duties due to the situation at hand. And I believe it's the second reason, as Lily goes on to state that James is frustrated, even though he tries not to show it. Dumbledore hasn't given him his invisibility cloak back, which makes one wonder just what exactly the Professor needed the cloak for in the first place. The last noticeable thing for me that stood out is the line, Wormy was here last weekend. I thought he seemed down. Now that's quite chilling. The fact Wormtail, aka Peter Pettigrew, thought to be one of James and Lily's best friends was there and seemed down. Which makes me believe that Wormtail didn't tell Voldemort straight away. He waited. He'd known for some time. Most likely debating when the right time was to tell his master. My guess is when he saw just how powerful the Dark Lord was, he knew what side he'd be better protected on. So everyone, that is absolutely everything I could squeeze out of analysing Lily Potter's letter to Sirius Black. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If I've earned your subscription, then please show me and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much again and I hope you all have a great day.